peace and love everyone my name is Tierra Chardé thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and liking the videos I truly appreciate it it's time for your love and romance forecast February 1st through the 14th for my earth signs Taurus Capricorn and Virgo how are you I hope you are well uh, make sure you're clicking the link in the description box to my website to discover or schedule a private session with me so you have something more specific to your situation also just so you know on February 1st I will no longer be doing birth chart reports you can still still schedule one with me up until then and they're still highly highly valuable I just realized I take a lot of time and energy to put into the birth chart reports and I didn't want to charge you guys extra and also I've been steered more towards north node reports which really focuses on your soul's purpose for this life so following that divine guidance and I'll be moving forward with that. Make sure you guys are watching all of the videos. You're sure to get something out of them, especially as it relates to you, Earth Sign. So make sure you're checking the January um, general and love and romance videos to see um, if the messages are the same or to see if there's any progress in your situation. Also, you can catch me here Monday through Friday for the divine message for the collective. And then on Friday, we do your weekend edition. If you resonate with the video, give it a thumbs up and also leave a comment. If you have any suggestions or questions, leave a comment as well. Okay, so let's get started, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So, you've been through some stuff. I had to take a deep breath because it was like, whew. When I tapped into your energy, earth sign, it was pretty powerful. You guys have been through quite a bit. So many of you may be tapping into your intuition right now. Straight up tapping into that intuition. You're tapping into that divine feminine or divine masculine energy. And you're realizing... So, okay, so many of you have options. Many of you are struggling to make a decision. And also, you're, you're experiencing some sort of illusions. So you may be in your head about a situation and it's not exactly what happened or what is happening. But in any event, it's causing some disappointments within you. It's causing some conflicts. Maybe you've been arguing with your partner or you've just been really conflicted within yourself. I feel like many of you feel maybe neglected or alone if you're single you're like what is going on you feel lonely right now i understand you and if you're in a relationship maybe you feel unrelate um unfulfilled within that relationship i understand you as well um see now for some of you i'm getting a bunch of different energies here some of you have been experiencing our um arguments you have been experiencing infidelity in your relationship some of you have experienced a loss of a child and I'm truly sorry for that. Some of you may have had a miscarriage or you had an abortion and you know, I send you love and healing if you are experiencing that situation. Um, and on the other side, some of you are just now coming into union with someone. So you're getting your finances together. You might have just moved in with this person or bought a new home. You must have just welcomed a baby or found out that you're expecting. So that can go different ways for uh, my earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Um, there is a need for, heal for healing. So say you're a part of the group that had experienced quite a bit of loss, um, pain, disappointment, infidelity. There is a light at the end of the tunnel or a sign okay just stay focused focus on your guidance because i i feel sh very strongly the divine is trying to contact with you. you may have ancestors or spirit guides that are trying to reach out to you so i would tap into your intuition focus on your dreams dreams are heavy right now um the energy of dreams is heavy that is you know that's coming up for me with earth signs um so you're receiving information from the divine through your dreams, through messages, through intuition. You are be also being asked, air sign, to rest and to tap in with yourself, okay? Um, in any event, right? So if you relate to the loss part of this message, earth sign, there's a need for you to ground yourself. Maybe, you know, take a weekend or take a day off if you can. If you're in the other group that has just gained something, you're still going to need to do that and keep yourself centered and focused on the things that you do want. Um, congratulations to those who joined new partnerships. I do see that as well. I see the soulmate energy showing up for my earth signs. So you started new partnerships. You're getting your finances in order to, um, to really move forward in your love life. 
you're wanting to get a home, you're wanting to start a family. So many of you will be doing that. Like I said, many of you have just um, found out you're expecting or you're going to find out. Um, I don't... I don't necessarily do predictions of a transition, of a death. In other sessions that has come up, yes, you know, to keep to continue to keep it funky with you um, on my platform, yes. But I don't do predictions of it. So if you have experienced a loss, this has already happened. You already are aware of this. This is the divine coming in, and I say this with a lot of awareness, it's the divine coming in to replace something. Now, if you have lost something that cannot be replaced, I respect that. This is no disrespect to you, okay? This is saying that a situation or a thing, the cycle has ended on it, okay? And it's the divine coming in to bring you new. So if you have lost something, don't trip. And many of you guys are tapped into your intuition to the point where you feel something new coming for you um a new opportunity a new gift a, a new child a new project something that you're creating you feel that um and if you do feel that you're you're right on point that's that's what it is and um again i i truly don't mean this this is very sensitive i i don't mean to offend anyone by saying that something will be replaced but the divine is saying, please try not to worry so much, okay? And I know that could be challenging, especially if you're going through the situation I just mentioned. But this is coming from the divine, that there is so much for you. And just know that things happen for a reason, whether we understand it or not. It is all in divine order and divine time. So that is what the divine is telling you. And there's a real need for you to, to recover to recuperate, to tap back in, meditate, and rest and relax, okay? Now, for the Earth signs, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo, if you have something new beginning, this is that. This is your opportunity at love, at building a foundation, uh, your new opportunity for passion, for a passionate connection. Um, so you're going to be really excited about that Earth sign. Um, so, hmm. If any of you are going through that bit of loss, reach out to me. You can um, leave a comment in the comment section if you want. Or you can um, send a personal message to me. Um, and this, this is aside from a regular session with me. So yes, okay, click the link to my website to schedule a regular session. But if you are an earth sign and you're going through what I just named with the loss, reach out to me, okay? All right, Earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. That is your love and romance forecast um, for February 1st through the 14th. Make sure you're watching the videos from last month because they can still apply right now. Um, also, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking the videos. Birth charts and February 1st. I'll just be moving straight ahead with your North Node report, which discusses your soul's purpose for this life. Um, so these energies do fluctuate, by the way, Earth sign, I do want to say this. Now, this could be you or the other person. There's the child. <laughs> My neighbor's children. They're so funny. Um, this could be you or the other person experiencing this as well. And I do also want to make sure I keep saying that, um, this may not resonate with everyone. If it does not, hopefully we have something for you next time. But if it does, leave a thumbs up. Support my channel. I truly appreciate when you do and leave a comment. Also, if you have any questions or feedback, leave a comment and I can do a video about it. All right, Earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. I love you so much. I'll see you next time. Peace and love.